Anyway, I'm so excited for you guys to be here. I had I had a dream uh, <laughs> for our 150th uh, year here in Independence and, and for Orono County that I've always done my old fashioned show things, and I thought, gee, wouldn't it be neat if we could have something for I'd hate to say the word sesquicentennial, is that right? I'm always bad at it, so I say 150 years. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> and decided I would start a fashion show for it. And I'm going to be doing fashions all the way from the 1860s, which is when the, the county was founded, to the 1960s. I figure that's 100 years. Uh, I say 150 years, and everybody thinks I'm going to do all of them. But I tell you what, when you get into this, we all know from 1970 on, their clothes were boring. No, and, they were, <laughs> and they were just repeats of what we had had before. And as you go, as I go through this little journey with you, with the, with the clothing, you know, we can recognize some of the things that we, sleeves, whatever, things that we still use nowadays that uh, they did. So it's a, basically a hundred years. So don't want anybody to think that they're getting shortchanged because they only did a hundred years. If you need to leave because you're just, uh, you know, I only did 100 years instead of 160. I have a few things to say at the beginning. I want to remind people I do have flyers over there because I am here uh, helping out the um, Eastern California Museum as the friend of them. I'm the trustee. Uh, there's flyers over there because we're going to be, you think this is crazy, ladies. We're going to be taking it on the road in the sense that we're going to go up to um, Carson City and we're going to go to their museum uh, textiles room. And we have a lady there that's going to show us how, how they take care of their textiles, their clothing, and their things. Then uh, the next day, we're going to be having a tour of the actual uh, museum, their regular uh, museum there in Harrison, uh, Nevada State Museum, and eat and do things in between. So there's some flyers from that, and that's through uh, Roberta Harlan is the one who you can call her. I also have other flyers for Nancy. What am I supposed to be plugging? In your associates. Is that it? Oh, my friends of the Eastern California Museum. I was talking. I didn't hear you. So. <laughs> <laughs> talking about that. No, no, but the memberships. Is that what the memberships are there. Yes, I forgot. Good. She told me I'm busy. Yeah. Memberships. That's what so I hear. Yeah. Well, the whole thing is, if you are not a member of the Friends, you can pay for a membership and get a discount on the trip to Nevada City, I mean, Nevada, and um, it kind of adds up to the same as the discount we get for being members to begin with. So it's kind of a, you know, two and one, for, two for one, two for, I don't know. <laughs> so those are over there. Um, okay, so... Getting this show on the road. I, how many people have been to some of my programs before? And you came back again. <laughs> See, you pull some of the people and then some of them, they don't care. They're just desperate to do something. Um, well, I, my name is Sharon Amy, and I consider myself a um, Victorian lifestyle historian. Because people cut, used to say, what do you do? And I go, well, I like to collect clothes, and I read about them, and I talk about them. I'm a docent and have been a docent for, only for over 40 years in the Orange County and Los Angeles area and then up here for 10 years. And it all started with me as a kid just wanting to, want, you know, know what's going on and why they wear the clothes and how they wore. And so I started uh, working with different, uh, as a volunteer and a docent for different homes that were in uh, the Southern Cal area, California area. And I've also done things for the film museum and that type of thing. So. As I ran around, I find I know I had a husband and, and two kids and on a budget, but I would try and find uh, clothing. So the clothing you're going to see today, everything, all of it has something wrong with it. <laughs> in other words, it's not museum quality, and that's why I could afford it. And that's why I'm going to bring it here today to you, because I'm going to go over here. When they're finished looking at it, it's going to sit over here, and anybody's welcome to go over there, look at it, see how it's sold. How the material is and you can't do that in a lot of places so i say i've got the this stuff it's none of it's perfect like me it's all over, you know around the edges and getting older and <laughs> so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to have this i'm going to bring things up i'm going to talk about them talk about some accessories 
I could be here all day, but we do have a limited amount of time. So <laughs> my kids are saying, You're, you bring another dress, Mom? I said, well, oh, it's kind of neat. So <laughs> anyway, we're just kind of no questions, all the questions. If you have any questions, afterward, be more than happy to, to help you with them. And then afterwards, we're going to have our little tea and dainties. And I hope you'll be able to stay for that. So I think without further ado, this is my assistant. <laughs> her name's Kara. But I'm calling her my Vanna White. Uh, and they, see, they understand. She said, they're going, huh? <laughs> so it is, it is an age thing. So she's going to be um, my runner, so I don't have to jump up and down off <laughs> this. So.